Doug, it took 13 hours, spread over a couple of days, for a jury last week to decide on the manslaughter conviction for Aaron Dean. It took another 13 hours, spread over another couple of days, for them to deliver the sentence, the punishment today for that crime. And after that long wait, Judge George Gallagher again read the jury's decision very quickly, very matter of factly. 11 years, 10 months, and 12 days in prison for Dean. The 10 and the 12 believed to be symbolic, representing the October 12th date that she was killed. And it will leave Dean without the possibility to serve any of the sentence on probation. Dean received the sentence without any noticeable reaction, his expression changing very little, even as a Tatiana Jefferson's cousin and sister read some strongly worded victim impact statements directed at him. Prosecutors had said yesterday the only just sentence in their mind was the maximum of 20 years. They didn't get that. But they were complimentary of the jury taking so much time on a difficult case and stressed that this verdict is only directed toward Dean, not police in general. Aaron Dean was the defendant in this case, not the Fort Worth Police Department. I have a, we both have a lot of faith in the officers with the Fort Worth Police Department um, and the other officers in Tarrant County. And we in no, in no way wanted to disparage any other officer. That was not our goal. Our goal was to seek a conviction against Aaron Dean for his conduct on October 12th, 2019. Dean could, of course, appeal this case. He would have been eligible to be out on bond during that appeal if this sentence had been less than 10 years. But because of it, he's going to stay in prison now and serve at least half of that 12-year sentence. The Jefferson family, Tatiana's family, has been talking a little bit more today after this verdict. J.D. Miles has been outside the family's home. He's covering that part of the story for us tonight. Mm -hmm. Jason, the family of Tatiana Jefferson chose, perhaps symbolically, to come back here to the home where she lost her life to talk about the trial. The verdict and sentence were bittersweet, but they respect the jury's decision. During the trial, the family has been forced to keep quiet because of a gag order issued by the judge. Today, both inside the courtroom through victim impact statements and out here in front of the family's home, they finally addressed Dean's testimony, which they believe was insincere and rehearsed. A Tatiana's sister, accompanied by family attorney Lee Merritt and a Fort Worth City Council member, told the media that the sentence wasn't what she wanted, but it's a level of justice she can live with. Will we want more time? Yes. Yes, we would. But that's what the jury decided, and you know we're going to have to, you know, take that with us. 11 years, year, that's the same age as Zion. 10 months, 12 days, that's the day that it happened. It's a message in this. It might not be the message that we wanted and the whole dream, but it's some of it. Family expressing relief here that this three-year ordeal is finally ending with at least some level of justice, but they're adamantly pursuing federal criminal charges against Dean. They're also pursuing a civil suit against the city of Fort Worth. Of course, there's a lot more reaction immediately outside the Tarrant County courtroom where this trial happened. Let's go now live to CBS 11's Caroline Vandergriff with more on what community leaders are saying. Caroline. J.D., the mood in this hallway was much different than it was last week when the manslaughter verdict came down. There were celebratory hugs today, there were tears, but a real collective sigh of release. I would say it wasn't a true celebration, but it was certainly close, a lot closer than it was last week when it really felt like they lost what they really wanted, which was a murder. Supporters and friends of Tatiana Jefferson and her family, along with community activists, have been waiting for this moment for more than three years. And in many of their minds, the only true justice would have been that murder conviction with decades in prison. But the fact that the jury gave a sentence on the higher end of the spectrum felt like progress. Aaron Dean will spend the holidays and the foreseeable future in a prison cell. Because even if he appeals, he won't be able to get out on bond. The verdict and this sentence won't bring Jefferson back, but city leaders hope it marks the beginning of a new chapter. This has been a cloud over the city of Fort Worth ever since October the 12th happened. And there are things that we as a city, there's things that me as a person in District 8 and as a community want to do to honor the life of Tatiana Jefferson. But we were struck to do that until we get this side of relief that now we can start some type of healing process. How that looks, we don't know yet. 
Council member Chris Nettles says the city can now have a real conversation, an open discussion about what happened that night. Activists say this trial has brought up many questions about the Fort Worth Police Department's hiring practices, their training, and their policies. They hope this sentence, this verdict, really puts them on notice to make some serious changes. Doug, Nicole. All right, Caroline, thank you. Caroline, JD, and Jason, thank you guys for your coverage today.